And on today's This Old Gun, we have another Italian episode of This Old Gun with a Beretta 92. Some of you probably recognize this gun. Some of you have probably said, I have this gun. It's old? Well, yeah, I hate to break it to you. This gun was created in the mid 70s and that's old. So let's have some fun with this old, but very still effective gun. All right. Welcome to This Old Gun. I'm Russell from Cape Gunworks. Today we're going to be looking at a Beretta 92. This is the 92 FS. It was the last of a whole series of 92s that they've been producing. Originally this gun came out right around the mid 70s and the United States military ended up adopting it in the 80s to replace the 1911. And there are still factions of the military using it to this day. Um, I'm pretty sure the Air Force is still using it. But for the most part, the United States military has been headed towards the uh, SIG M18s and M17s. Now, development and design of this gun started right around 75. And I think it ultimately finished development and started coming out around 76. And there were three Italian designers that ended up contributing to this gun overall. And they certainly did a great job with it. I must say that of all the full-size 9mm, uh, Beretta is definitely up there as one of my favorites for sure. Now this gun is very comfortable to use, it's very smooth to use, and they are still incredibly popular to this day, mainly because they're very comfortable, very accurate, and they're very manageable. And I'm going to take you out to the range right now, and we're going to have a little fun with this guy. So let's have some fun with this old, but very still effective gun. All right. Fun, fun, fun with a nice Italian hammer fired Beretta 92. Uh, what is there not to say about this gun? It was developed in the mid seventies. Uh, it's battle proven. Factions of the military use it. I mean, the Italian army to boot, as well as our very own men up there and women using this very nice hammer-fired uh, single double action Beretta. And the nice thing about it is you can drop the hammer safely. It has an exposed barrel and it's, it's a beefy weapon, but it's a reliable weapon. And there are factions of the police that were using this up until the Glocks came out. The United States military was using this gun quite a bit up until they started to pick up the SIG M18s and M17s and there's still factions of the military that are still using the Berettas and haven't quite gotten onto the SIG game quite yet. So let's go see how I did. Really not too bad. I started to go up a little bit as I start to rapid fire more. Again, you'll have to excuse, I'm still dealing with my little finger injury here. It still kind of hurts. Um, but. Yeah, for the most part, just pointing and shooting, this is a very, very accurate and very, very comfortable 9mm. Just because something is old doesn't mean that it's ineffective. Um, they st they're still producing Berettas. You can get a brand new Beretta 92, uh, the most updated Beretta 92, for a decent amount of money, and it's a very, very viable option. I must say I, I've always enjoyed shooting Berettas, especially Beretta 92s, but whether it's an 84 Cheetah or a 92, or some of the older model Berettas. Berettas, is, Berettas have always been really good in terms of design. I mean, they really helped out the Italian army in World War II when they were, and World War I when they were desperately underarmed. Unfortunately, they just couldn't make their, or produce their arms fast enough. Um, Berettas have a very, very unique and rather recognizable design to them. You've got this kind of cut slide and exposed barrel idea. I remember my first time picking up a Beretta, I closed the slide and I hit myself right in the finger, bit myself, ow. Um, but you also have this decocker piece, which um, I don't believe the original Beretta 92s had this decocker piece on it, but due to some requests from either military or police forces, they did end up working with the hammer and safety mechanisms. So now you can drop this hammer safely and go into double action mode. So come on down to Cape Gunworks if you'd like to pick up a Beretta 92 as they're still making them to this day, or you want me to see one that you might have and talk to you about it a little bit. 
And don't forget, guys, to go to capegunworks.com forward slash TOG to check out some of my merch and some of my previous episodes. I'm Russell from Cape Gunworks. I'll see you around. <laughs>